hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i will talk about the causes of variation in quantitative trades i have already made a video on quantitative trades and their inheritance if you didn't watch that video i would recommend you to watch it before watching this one to better understand the concept of quantitative trades so let's start our today's topic Quantitative trades can be defined as the trades which are expressed in numbers or quantities. So these trades are expressed uh, in numbers and sometimes these trades are also called as measurable trades, metric trades, economically important trades or polygenic trades. So the, all of these names are given to quantitative trades. The examples of quantitative trades are height, birth weight, weaning weight, milk production, milk fat percentage and all of these trades are measured in numbers. So what are the causes of variation in quantitative trades? Here I would like to define phenotypic variation before going towards our today's topic. So phenotypic variation can be defined as the observable or measurable differences among individuals within a population for a particular trade. So the differences which you observe are measure uh, among individuals within a population for a particular trade is known as phenotypic variation. For example, the differences in birth weight among the individuals of a population would be the phenotypic variation. So, the, the variation in quantitative trades arise due to two major factors. The first one is it arise due to genes or heredity and the second one because these two quantitative trades are also influenced by the environment. So, the other major factor which causes variation in quantitative trades is environment. So quantitative trades are influenced by the genes as well as the environment. Both of these factors collectively cause the variation in quantitative trades. We will discuss both of these factors in very detail in next slides. Firstly, we will see the variation which is due to genes or heredity. As you know that quantitative traits are polygenic which means they are controlled by a large number of genes and all of these genes contribute to the phenotype of these quantitative traits. So these genes might be the responsible for causing variation in these traits and the important thing about the genes is that they are inherited from parents to offspring and they determine the genotype or genetic makeup of an individual and the important thing about the genotype is that it becomes fixed at the time of conception and remains constant throughout the life of an individual. The variation in genotype can only be observed if a mutation occurs. And if mutation doesn't occur in the lifetime of uh, an animal, uh, the genotype of that animal would be the same which uh, it received from the parents. Okay. So, and almost all of the animals are genetically different. So, they are phenotypically different. As the animals are genetically different, so they are phenotypically different. However, some animals might be genetically similar like identical twins are uh, inbreds. Inbreds are those which are produced through the matings of closely related individuals like parent offspring mating or brother sister mating. Genetic variation in quantitative traits can also be due to different gene actions. Some genes interact in additive way while the other interact in 
non additive way to express the phenotype of a quantitative trait so it is also very crucial to know which of the quantitative trait is affected by which type of the gene action because selection and mating procedures uh, for additive and non additive gene expressions are different and several studies have been conducted to uh, determine the determine which type of gene action uh, is important for a particular quantitative trait uh, it was observed that the carcass quality or quantity appear to be affect uh, mostly affected by uh, additive gene action while the fertility and livability appear to be affected by a uh, certain extent of non additive gene action however weaning weight of beef cattle appear to be affected by both type of gene action so, and it is almost all of quantitative traits are uh, influenced by both of these gene action additive gene action and non additive gene action but one gene action uh, may have much more important effect than the other one so a large number of genes interact in different ways cause genetic variation in quantitative traits now i will talk about the other major factor which causes variation in quantitative traits that is environment in genetics context environment is defined as all the factors other than genes which contributes to the phenotype of a trait and these factors might be disease nutrients temperature accident or any other thing which could contribute to the phenotype of a particular trait the phenotypic variation in quantitative traits due to environment Uh, are also very important firstly because the variation caused by environment are not transmitted from parents to offspring and secondly a quantitative trait can only be ex properly expressed if animal is provided with an optimum environment for example if an animal Uh, has a genetic pot uh, potential to produce 10 liter of milk in a day but it is not provided with uh, an optimum amount of feed to produce that amount of milk would it be able to produce 10 liter no it will not produce 10 liter because milk production is a quantitative trait and it is also affected by environment like in this case the environment was feed secondly if that animal is under heat stress it will also not be able to produce maximum amount of milk so both the environment and genetics collectively cause variation in quantitative traits and this was a brief lecture on variation in quantitative traits